this is a rant. I didn't think I was going to wake up and be so, I'd be so angry. So instead of like just sitting here and being angry, I'm just going to rant and get it out of my system. You know, and in this relentless crosshair of the British media machine, we witness the unconscionable assault on two individuals of integrity every single day. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Their cardinal sin? The audacity to prioritize their family well-being, to safeguard their mental and physical health, and dared, dared to narrate their own story. When I say they, I don't mean Megan. This is, this is Harry. Harry narrated his own story. And the warped worldview of those who shout the loudest and spit out their daily hit pieces, this act of self-preservation is portrayed as, as a trans, transgression. A transgression that is more heinous than committing a unalive in someone. Look at the, the, the audacity, the audacity of <laughs> criticism emanating from certain quarters of the UK press is not merely misguided. It's a testament to a deeply entrenched system that views independence, authenticity as a threat to be neutralized. Uh, here they are. Queen's former police officer Dick Griffin and legendary raw photographer Arthur Edwards. Thank you both for coming on. It's a pleasure. Now, we're, we're holding this show this week because it's two years, uh, incredibly, since, the, since we were mourning the death of Queen Elizabeth II. It was September the 8th, 2022. And I want to, you know, the, the situation with Prince Harry and uh, the Duchess of Sussex. Last week, I'm sure you saw, front page of the Sun, Harry came back for this funeral for his uncle, Lord Fellows. He also stayed with Earl Spencer at Althorpe, and he didn't speak to William and um, did, didn't go to see his father. There's reports coming out, whether we believe them or not, about Harry wanting to come back and do a little bit more work or to rehabilitate himself or reaching out for friends to, to come back and, you know, come back and have a little bit of his old life. How do we read that? Do you think you could see Harry coming back to work? Do you think he'd be welcomed by the rest of the family? Well, I think the first thing he's got to sort out is no Ravik. Um, the Royal and VIP Executive Committee have decided yeah. um, he's not going to get protection in this country. And of course, that's an ongoing saga. He's still arguing about whether he should get it or not. I mean, I'm not quite sure why he thinks he should get it, because... Well, I was going to ask you, Dick, I mean, as, as a former, you know, police officer for the Queen, you know, is, is he right to be pursuing well, no, this? no, it's not, because um, if he was coming back to take over a full royal family life, he would automatically get it anyway. Mm. And the government are not silly. If, if they, they, they review every visit to this country, and what the th they, they know all the threat assessments, and if they think, whoever it is, it doesn't, could be you or Harry, um, if he needs protection, he'll be get given protection. And I, I, I got really annoyed because he never came back for Prince Philip's memorial service. And another set of self-appointed guardians of royal pro pro propriety spewing their toxic mix of misinformation and thinly veiled racism with a finesse of a sledgehammer. The Sun Royal Exclusive Show, featuring Arthur Edwards and Dick Griffith or Grit whatever, is nothing short of perhaps 
a master class, a master class, a symphony of ignorance and malice. Let's start with the breathtaking audacity of comparing Prince Harry's security needs to those of <laughs> Sarah and Peter Phillips. What planet are you on? One might as well compare apples to hand grenade. Yeah? Have Sarah and Peter been the subject of relentless media harassment? Have they faced credible threats from extremist groups? Have they? Has a former head of counter terrorism confirmed genuine and menacing threats against their lives? Because if that has happened, I, 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 I'm sorry, I, I, I might have slept over that one. I might have been on a secluded mountain, I don't know, meditating that day. I think freaking not. On the press, and, and I still maintain it. And when I was interviewed by Sky, I said he was pathetic. And quite frankly, I was disgusted by the fact he didn't come back after all he'd done for it. And his excuse of security just didn't wash. Because if he's not worried about security, he could have stuck, as it happened with his father, Prince Charles, who's got the best security in the land. And I think it was just an excuse. I agree with you, Dick. He's got to start sort of seeing things as they really are and he's no longer welcome here it just seems and and he's gonna have to make a big 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 act of contrition in my view to the king before he gets back because quite honestly they're frightened to have him with them in the in things because any conversation they may have could be in the next tv yeah. program and they're and they're not they're, they're not prepared to do that anymore and and i think he obviously i always believe in the in the, in the parable of the prodigal son i think everything's possible but at the moment, it doesn't look likely. I often think with the you know, security, um, it's kind of insulting to the police officers, to the rural household, to the home office, to say that I don't feel safe in the UK. Of course he'll be safe. Harry would be safe when he come here. You know, that there are situations in uh, um, uh, regulations and, and, and organisations in place that would actually keep him safe. I mean, do you, do you, do you think it's an insult to, to, to people well, in the UK? You know, one of his ex-protection officers um, has gone with him to the States. Yeah. And, and, and in fact, did go with him to the court cases. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, I did yeah, see him in the like background. Like um, and he would be banging heads together if, yeah. if he thought the threat was there. Well, if he thought the threat was there, he shouldn't allow him to come to, come to country yeah. in the first place. Yeah. But um, the Princess Royal's children don't get protection. And look at their life. Yeah. You know, Peter and Zara live, live perfectly wonderful lives. Um, they're in the public eye. But... There's no perceived threat to them, and they don't. Princess Anne doesn't or, ask for them to get protection. Or Beatrice, and, and usually they don't get police protection no. either. No, I, I, I think he's, um, he thinks he's bigger than he actually is. And I also feel that uh, Meghan is becoming, um, I don't think, almost she can, doesn't want to come here anymore. No. And he comes almost back. she can, doesn't want to come here anymore. No. And he comes back, and she never comes with him. And, and what really upsets the king is the fact he's never going to see his grandchildren. Uh, these two, these two, this little boy and this little girl should be playing with their cousins at Balmoral now. They should be here in, enjoying the, the life of the royal family. Instead of that, they're, they're stuck in this house or where was it in Montecito, and uh, and and and, it, and, it, and they're just celebrities in another town full of celebrities. Here, he was somebody, and uh, there is just another celebrity. In my view, he's the loser, big time. Well, I read the paper this morning. You know, before he went, he was a member of the royal family. And now he's right down, oh, he's almost brilliant. at the bottom of the list. Um, yeah. 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 Slightly above Meghan. <laughs> OK, and slightly above Andrew as well. Well, we'll, get, we'll go to Andrew after. <laughs> um, can I take you back to September the 8th? The claim that Harry... Oh, this, this just got under my skin. Thinks he's bigger than he actually is. Is freaking rich coming from a man who makes his mm. see? I don't, I don't want, I don't, I don't want to go. I don't, I don't because I respect people. I respect how they make their living and what they do. And everyone is here 
with a certain talent. And if his talent is to take pictures, great. Good for you. But don't come and talk to Harry about his security. Get a freaking clue. Who do you think you are? Your job was to point a camera at the royal family and click. Look, anyone who does that, please don't get offended. Look, photographers are fantastic. I'm speaking to this particular person. You know, you should consider that Harry's concerns for his family's safety stems not from some delusion of grandeur, but from the very real and documented threats they face. Threats, by the way, that are exacerbated by this poisonous rhetoric spewed by people like you, Edward. And let's not overlook the casual racism and sexism dripping from every freaking word you say. The minute, the second you put her name in your mouth. Look, keep her freaking name out of your situation, out of your whatever. Look, God has blessed you, man. You've lived to see 80. I wish you lived to see many more. Both of you, to enjoy your family. You have no right, though. You have no right. Royal protection. Um, how would you characterize the threats that Meghan and Harry received? Well, disgusting and very real. I've talked publicly for many years about the threat of extreme right-wing terrorism in this country. I've often been misquoted as, as taking my eye off the ball, as though I think that that was the biggest threat. I've never called it the biggest threat, but it was the fastest growing. You know, and my wonderful friend and counterpart at MI5 will tell you exactly the same thing, that when I started in CT in 2015... Counterterrorism. Counterterrorism. It was about 6% of our total workload. Certainly when I left 15, 16 months ago, it was over 20%. Of our workload. But there were many serious, credible threats against Meghan, were there, emanating from the far right? Absolutely. If you'd seen the stuff that was written and you were receiving it, the kind of rhetoric that's online, if you don't know what I know, you would feel under threat all of the time. So you were convinced that there was a genuine threat to Meghan's life on a, you know, on more than one occasion, on several occasions? Absolutely. We had teams investigating it. People have been prosecuted for those threats. To tell Prince Harry that he's delusional. What world are you living in? Wonderland? Have you met Alice? The insinuation that Megan. She's some sort of puppet master. They all love that, eh? They all love to paint her. The puppet master. Controlling Harry. And keeping him away from his family. Listen, listen, I'm going to get a little bit stupid here. You know what? If the man wants to be controlled and puppeteer and, and have a woman puppet him, that, that's, that's his thing. Maybe you need to be puppet. Pe -pe -pe -pe. Maybe you need someone to put some strings on your freaking self. And string you up and let, you know, move you along. But damn, it's your business. I mean, I don't, I don't think that's the case. I don't see it. But if that's what you want to fantasize about, because all of you bring it up all the time. Oh, look at her. She controls him. Oh, oh, oh. And she goes, give me your hand. And he has to give him, give, give, give her his hand. And it was funny. It's all these white men of a certain age. What do you, what, what, what do you men do after you talk about Megan? Oh, and she controls him. Oh, and, she, and she's like so demanding. Oh. What's happening there? Huh? What's happening? Are you 
secretly like a certain person whose name um uh similar to where a boat goes to park itself or a little boat or or something you know where there was allegedly goes to certain places and have um ladies of a certain ethnic background all oh, black girls let me just say i was going to say it you know treat him a certain way are you all having that 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 situation too are you fantasizing are you are you are you, are you just projecting here because i don't know what what else to think because I've, I, I've, I've laid out all the other options in front of me, and I'm going, well, it can't be that. It can't be this either. Oh, well, that one definitely not. But when you people speak about her, and you start to speak about, oh, well, she's so controlling, you know? And she goes, she goes give me your hand. Oh, the passion. The passion in which you say that. Hmm. Listen, boys, you got to calm that stuff down. Calm it down. Calm it down. Because it's becoming quite obvious now. You're all saying the same damn thing. Now, I, I, I don't know. So, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I think... Uh, baby Jesus has, uh, or, or the Lord has, has some interesting ways of um, protecting one from oneself. So I did not stop ranting for about the next half an hour. Then I, I just thought I said, okay, enough. And I took the mic off and the little light wasn't on the mic. I <laughs> I looked down and it's just one line. My mic ran out of power and I checked to see when and where and of course it's 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 where you <sighs> where I pick up from. And you know what's funny? It's, it is and it isn't at the same time. After that, after right around there, it gets a little bit, um, let's just say not PG-13. And I am just going to take the message that I think baby Jesus is trying to deliver to me and just leave that stuff alone. Okay. But I, 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 I find it very interesting that these two gentlemen, one who was the police officer or represented the police of uh, protection for um, the late queen and the other official photographer, they, and especially the, the police, the disdain and the way in which he's quick to say that Harry does not need security, that he would not even, he wouldn't approve or give security to Harry. Why? Why does he need it? He doesn't know what the threats are. The thing that I find also quite offensive actually is that he knew prince philip for about what 10 or 12 years he worked with. that's harry's grandfather and we all know that harry's had a very close relationship both i think with his grandmother and his grandfather i think prince philip and Harry got along well. I don't think him and William did. So for you, sir, to 
castigate Prince Harry because he didn't return back to the UK for the memorial service or whatever. Listen, you can stop the theatrics. Okay? You don't know the kind of relationship that that grandson and grandfather had. And when you have such a close relationship with your relative, your grandfather, your grandparents, whomever it is, they know if you have to make a decision that might not be the one that you might have wanted to make in a time like these, they know and they understand because they love you. The kind of hate that I see these men express and the way they behave, you would think that they were, Harry was their lover. And, you know, Harry dumped them for Megan because it's this sort of unreasonable. And, and yes, yes, we can go back to the whole thing, the, 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 the sort of angry black woman controlling Jezebel kind of thing, stroke. But the other thing also is it's, it's how they behave when, when they talk about what they think she's doing to him. I mean, even, even Pierce Morgan, I, I, I'll, I'll say his name now, Pierce Morgan insinuated certain things. And I'm thinking, so that's what's on your mind. That's what's on all of your minds because for some reason, all of you think that she must be doing something. She must be doing something. And as I said before, I think, girl, you do your thing, man. You do your thing. If you're doing a thing, do your thing. Keep doing it. Keep. keep. <laughs> oh, gosh. What day is today? I think it's Sunday. I should not be speaking like this. Uh, thank you, baby Jesus, that <laughs> 30 minutes was not recorded. Oh, boy. You know, the... The, the audacity of him denying Harry's justified security fears is, is, is just in, it's just insulting. Let's not forget also that five Metropolitan Police officers were on investigation and then charged for exchanging racist misogynistic and other things, uh, uh, you know, uh, other things, allegedly. And we also know that the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, featured in the exchange of the pollution that they were exchanging. And those are the people who are charged to protect Harry. Those are the people who would be charged to protect Megan and the kids. And he has the gall, all of them have the gall to keep telling us. They keep saying, hey, well, how, how could he think he's not secure here? This is, this is England, this is Britain, this is, this is London. We have, to, we have security. You have what? Okay, my love, let, let's, let's, let, let's go through a couple of things. So you have a former prime minister whose private information, okay, phone hacking, medical records, all this stuff was taken. And guess what? This wasn't a spy agency that took it. This was uh, like what you people call media, what you call press, what you call um, 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 journalism, reporting and all that stuff. You know, the rest of us, I don't know, for the most part, what you call journalism, we, we, we don't call that journalism. 
So your, and, and I don't want to get into any trouble here, but your secret service, MI6 or Scotland Yard or any of them, Metropolitan Police, none of them knew this was happening. Like, none of them? This is a freaking former prime minister. You have politicians that are being, I don't know, their they're, they're testaments are being squeezed so hard that they're just doing whatever the bosses that own the tabloids are telling them to do because they're so scared because they've got so many skeletons or I don't know bags or or coconuts they've got something in their closets so if your own freaking secret service and 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 all the other agencies can protect the most supposed to be the top politician and the others and this is not from another spy agency. This is freaking broadcast media. So, so listen, I don't know. What, what can I tell you? When you have Hugh Grant saying, listen, robbed, this happens, that happened. We don't, no, no, no. We have to think twice before calling the police. Why? Because... The popo, they call the tabloids. Like, what fairy land are we living in? Going back a little to that whole how Dick was so offended that, that Harry didn't come to the memorial service. Dick, what's going on? Why are you getting so offended? Why? I, I, I really want to know because, listen, I don't want to let my imagination wander, but my imagination today, for some reason also, it's at like triple 10. It's just going like all over the place. And the things I'm thinking about, I'm going like, hey, uh, their refusal to acknowledge Harry's proximity to his grandfather. <laughs> It just, it, it just exposes them. It exposes the sort of hollowness of their claims. How dare they question his grief? How dare they? You know, it, it's, it's fascinating to me how, how, how they say these things and they have such uh, they don't have the ability to, 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 to sort of do a self-examination, be self-aware of not only the things you're saying, but the impact that they have. This sort of poisonous, this poison that they keep, keep feeding, this monster of hate. You know, one of the things that, 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 that is most offensive, I mean, it, all of it is a freaking offensive, but their blatant disregard for the real reasons Harry and Meghan had to leave, the ongoing smear campaign that still is going on today, today, fueled, guess by whom? Let me see, let me guess, let me guess. Um, um, yeah, me, please, me, me, I know the answer, I know the answer. Pick me, please, please pick me, pick me, pick me. Antonio? Yes, yes, the Sun, the Sun newspapers, the Sun, the Sun, and they're at the Sun, and they're, yes, the Sun. The irony. Isn't it fascinating? Not a word about all the racist stuff. Not a word about the, the what the 30 something articles that were written in one day all of it negative not a word about the way they were treating his wife not a word about 
a veteran coming back and when they decided okay well we have a fallout with you because you've written this book we're gonna tell the taliban exactly where you are no none of that no 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 n none of what he's 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 done and continues to do for veterans None of what charities that he's doing. No, he's just a, another celebrity. He's another celebrity. At least here he was somebody. Somebody. Was he? Okay, define me the somebody. Was that the somebody who they can abuse? Has to take the blame for his lazy ass mentally something is happening with that dude brother oh did i just say that i didn't mean to say that like that's supposed to be my inner voice but that came out like listen i just think and now i'm going into a whole different direction but i'm not i'm just going to make this quick statement and then hopefully jump back on this train that that i'm on so I think that whole golf club thing that happened to him when he was, what, 12, 8, or whatever, I think there's more to that than they wouldn't ever tell us. I also think it's really odd. I was thinking about this. I've been thinking about this a lot, too. I understand the whole insistence, bring Harry back, bring Harry back, Harry needs to come back, bring Harry back. But... Here's my theory. They know that that dude is not all okay. They know it. I think all of them know it. I even think Harry knows it. That he has like moments of like, you know? And you see, they want Harry back so that if something happens, Harry is there. Now that I'm saying that out loud, I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever, but oh well. It's in the ether now. I said it. But I don't think he's alright. Okay, go back on my bus. Or train or whatever it is. So, they completely ignore the whole smear campaign fueled by the sun. Right? And, 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 and these things are not just a matter of gossip. It's, 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 it's not, oh, she, 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 oh, she, 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 the little, little, little guy, oh, can you believe he did? Oh, she, she. No, it's not that. They're saying things that are putting people's lives in danger. And there is history. They did this to his mother. They know what they've done. But you see, they need to feed this beast of theirs. But I tell you, if, if I didn't know any better, I would just think that these people are damn stupid. Like, like, like really stupid. Like dumb stupid. Like stupid, 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 stupid. Like, you know, there's stupid one, stupid two. They're like on the ground stupid. And then they go to the under, on the ground stupid. Because... If you can just, in less than five minutes, explain to someone what's going on, most people go, oh, okay. Oh, well, that's not, that's not right. So they're, they're, they're doing all of this because he made the, they made a decision to, to move? And you're like, yeah. Oh, well, that's weird. And they keep saying that he did all this, but they didn't. I'm like, yeah, I'm still, I, I've watched the Oprah interview. I've read the book. I still don't know what they're so offended over. I really don't know what they're offended over. It's either like they're so, <coughs> excuse me, repressed. Like, like what James, um, James O'Brien said. So oppressed with their feelings, their emotions, their childhood. That just the idea of a person opening up and saying, these things happened to me. I've, 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 I've had to learn to deal with them 
right? To 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 get the proper help in order for me to now live my best life. I think all of them are running scared. Because in order what what Harry is actually doing is 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 bringing back putting the mirror in front of them and saying you have a lot of things to deal with buddy you're not dealing with it the audacity these people prince harry if you are coming back to britain do yourself a favor and leave megan behind harry we understand he's talking of old friends about how you can possibly make an at least partial return to great britain forget your friends harry Call your father the king. Call your brother the future king, and apologize for the wicked things you said about both their wives. And if you do come back, here's some other advice: do it under the radar, low profile. Another reason why best leave your wife behind, Prince Harry. And there we have it: another fail contestant for RuPaul's Drag Race. Ah, uh, what? No, no. Too much? Yeah? Not enough? Ah, come on. He's got so much makeup on, like, like <laughs> five inches of mud or something. Come on. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, 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 boy. Listen. Listen. Listen, boy. I know people think that this... <laughs> I've got a feeling. I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> but I've got this feeling that I think it's not just the ladies who are like, all oh, like, oh, Harry. Oh, Harry. <laughs> I think these grown men, they've got a crush on Harry. I mean, I've got a crush on Harry, but in the same way that I think they do. <laughs> oh, baby Jesus, please. I need to stop this. <sighs> oh, boy. Yeah. They, they, the, the misogyny, the racism, and add any other schism you feel like adding. It's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable. How they've all decided that they're just going to take the mask off. Just take it off and just be. It's either that or they think that she is so in, a, insignificant that she, her value, her being is so nothing to them that they have no need to show who they really are. They think so little of her that they think is not a problem. Not a problem. To tell a husband to leave his wife behind. To leave his children behind. Because let's not forget. Some of them think, mm -mm, no. Not his children. They go out of their way. Out of their way. I'm going to post one last thing. And then I'm going to end this here. One last thing. And, 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 and the image I'm, go I'm going to post. It's just a picture. I've posted it before. It's from Colombia. The trip from Colombia. And one of these. You know I've debated for the last week and a half. Maybe what I should bring it up or not. And I, 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 I had made a screenshot of the post from the person, but I'm not going to give them any credit or anything. I, I just want to illustrate to you 
the, the, the type of mind that we are dealing with, the sickness that has infected every part of them, this virus, this illness. So this is the picture. When you watch this picture with the Duchess of Sussex and those kids, what are the first things or thoughts that come to your mind? You know? You can write in the comment section. What are the first things that come to your mind? You know what was the first thing that came to the mind of these derangers? Because you see, they pick something, they say it, and then it's like, literally like a zombie virus. Then they all like, go to the site and start commenting. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So this person, whether it's a real person or a bot or whatever, but it's out there, right? And there's, there's hundreds and hundreds of likes and shares and comments of this nonsense. So they wrote, look at how the boy, look at his face. His face tells me everything that I need to know. Then goes on to say, I have young boys. I'm assuming they're this person's sons. And at that age, I know exactly what they're thinking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that, that's not even the beginning yet. Yeah, well, okay. And then they continue to say, I see a predator. You know, like a dinosaur. I need to say certain things so I don't get dinged with the, uh, with the thing and this and the bot and the algorithm and whatever. So this person is out there saying that the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, is a, yeah, yeah, that thing. That thing that, you know, maybe that sickle man is. Yeah. And it's, it's, it, 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 it so disturbed me. Because... You would only think that if that was already on your mind. If that was something that is like, like, I, 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 look, I'm, you know, I've, I've, it's, it still disturbs me, man. I, I, I can't help it. I can't help it. Because for them to post that, you took this picture, this, this, what, what I think is a beautiful picture, right? I know what those kids are likely thinking. And it's far away from what that person that posted whatever is thinking. So for that person, real or machine, because it had to take a real person to program so it can say the things it's saying. So real or machine to come to that decision to say, look at the way she's hugging him. Look at the way she's allowing him to get even more closer. She's the one pulling him in. I, I'm like, I, I, I thought, what, what, what the f Fudge cakes. What kind of state of mind and what kind of hate you need to possess in order to bring yourself, if you are human, to write those words, post it. And then for the other mindless creatures 
a cockroach has a better mind than they do. To then swarm, to swore this is this. And I forget, yes, yes, I saw her too. And there's other pictures too, where, where, where she's like, uh, uh, she's very really inappropriate. And the way she, I'm thinking, so all of you, when you watch this picture, this photo, that is what you think. Now, I'm not the police of X or or, or, or or Twitter, but I'm just saying, if I were one of these undercover law enforcement people that, you know, bust these gangs that, that do traffic, and this disgusting stuff with children. Oh, I'm getting mad now. Damn. <sighs> what is wrong with people? What is wrong with people? All right, I need to end this here because I'm. Yeah. It's just a game Playing it out, asking myself